What is up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about a type of finesse move that we like to use to really help out our rushing attack in Madden 25. So we're going to show you this uh, from just a generic pro defensive set. Uh, just a regular cover three, inverted cover two. And our tip here, we're just going to use a regular running formation. Nothing too complicated. We'll just use the uh, single back ace, halfback zone weak. But the move that we're going to be talking about is the back juke. And the back juke is, in my opinion, the most effective move in Man 25. What you want to do here is if you just back juke, you see how it's... It's, it's arguably the most effective move. And the reason why is, let's show you here. So we're going to go here, we're going to run behind our side here, and then we just back juke, and you see we have a potential opportunity to just lose the defense altogether. Now, a move that goes in combination with the back juke is just hitting the left trigger one time. It's called a stutter step move, and you see right there how effective that is. So the back juke in combination with the stutter step, depending on the situation, are the two best moves in Madden 25. There you see the back juke being effective, and I could show you countless of clips uh, where I hit, like for example here, if I just hit this out route to Welker here, watch this, catch the out route, back juke, and line myself up for success. And we can show you clip after clip after clip after clip of effective juke moves uh, where I get an out route and then I just back juke for days. Uh, it's really a little bit more effective here. Let's see if we can show you an example uh, when we use it in man-to-man -man coverage. So we catch the out route and then, uh, that was a bad, bad animation there. But um, I'm telling you guys, in the right situation, the back juke is the most effective move in Madden 25. So let's get the passing play. Let's throw that out route. There it is. And then you get the back juke, and you see how you can lose the defender. Now, obviously, you got to stay in bounds, but um, that's the hard part. But uh, no, this, this really is a really effective move in Madden 25. Uh, there's the back juke, and you see how it kind of lines you up a little bit better. Uh, sometimes it's really effective, sometimes it's just all right there. It may not be all effective, but uh, you can mix that in with other moves like spins and things like that. But what I like to do with the back juke is back juke as soon as I get the ball and reverse field. Uh, and as you saw right there, uh, actually back juke an extra time on accident. But you want to back juke and angle your stick to the opposite side, and then you want to try to get outside like that right there. Sometimes you'll get stuck in the backfield. But there have been times where you'll just tear off a huge run. Here you see it again. And then you got one guy to beat versus having you know multiple defenders. So this is just one little small nugget of how effective the back juke is in Madden 25. But there you see. And then you mix it in with like the spin move and the precision modifier. And you are set up to beat every type of angle that they're going to be able to tackle you on. These jukes are very effective, especially the back juke. Guys, I really like doing this in the backfield. Catch, get the ball in the backfield. Back juke, angle my guy to the back side here, and you see we are off to the races. So the back juke is our primary move in a putt return tip that I'm going to be talking about later on this week. And uh, I can't wait to show it to you guys. Can't wait to see your feedback. Uh, but what in, in, in closing in this video, what is your most effective move? If you had to only get one move, what is it going to be? Is it the juke? Is it the back juke? Is it the spin? Is it the precision spin? Is it the precision juke? Is it the precision back juke? You know, all these things. I don't like the precision back juke because I feel like it's a little bit too exaggerated, but I really, really like this uh, version of the back juke. Just a quick little stutter move uh, or the quick little back juke. I think it is really effective. Here we'll see the stutter move and you see how that gets you to that edge. So what is your most effective, in your in your opinion, what is your most effective or most frequently used precision modifier or non-precision modifier move? And uh, let me know if you use a precision modifier with it or not. I'm just curious to hear your feedback. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. And uh, my personal favorite is the back juke. I think it's the best move. And it can, it, I literally probably use it on every play. Literally, like if, if I could sneak in a back juke, I'm going to sneak it in. Because it just, it, it just sets the tone. Uh, for the running game, and I'm telling you guys, this back juke really, it, it really is really effective. Um, there is obviously situations where it won't be, but like right here, I mean, you see, that's not a situation because there's a guy behind me, but then let's say I throw like an out route, so I throw the out route, and then I back juke. There's the back juke, and then I have a shot at getting to that edge. Okay, let's see that again one more time here. Uh, but it's really effective at the passing game too, but also in the running game, uh, I really like the back juke. Um, 
So I can't stress that enough, guys. Uh, that's my favorite. What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but that is my favorite move in Madden 25, the back juke.